citizen. So, I sat down with a reporter from the Guardian newspaper, which is a publication in Great Britain. I don't even think they print it anymore. It's all gone online. You know, we, we, Troy went online, and we all followed him with Texas for Public Education. It's great, <laughs> up to 30,000 or so. So, um, I sat down, and, and we had a freewheeling conversation. And a lot of reporters that are national level reporters ask me this question. Are the teachers and school employees in Texas going to walk out? Are the people in Texas going to do what the teachers and the bus drivers and school employees in Arizona did, what they did in West Virginia, what they did in Oklahoma? And I told them this. I said, I don't know. It's not, it's not up to me. I'm president of the teachers union. And it's not up to me. You know, I can call it and say it. I said, what we're focused on right now is getting good people elected to the legislature and holding that power. Right. And so our focus is on November 6th. And once November 6th comes and goes, and I think we're going to see some changes. Um, maybe not, you know, a wholesale turnover, but I think we're going to see some changes. But then we have to keep on doing the accountability role. And I do have a theory about what might happen in the next six, eight, nine months. Um, if Beto manages to pull off a miracle, even if he doesn't, if five new Democrats show up in the Texas House, then there were in the last session, which is a very high probability. And Connie Burton, that crazy lady from Fort Worth, <laughs> who's been a one-term senator who, you know, all the Republican elected officials in the county gave her, because she has taken her marching orders from people that have given her hundreds of thousands of dollars and not the people that she went to represent. Right. She probably won't be back either. So something's starting to change. Like the austerity hawks, the Dan Patricks, right. these folks are losing their grip. That's right. Because more and more of us are waking up. And we're saying, we can't keep doing this. We can't keep shortchanging our kids. Not only is it wrong immorally, and I, I'm sure you got that from the pastor here, who has been an eloquent voice across the state of Texas for the well-being of our school kids and our educators. Thank you for that, Charles. But, but also, um, they're going to start losing their grip. So they're going to do one of two things that politicians do when they start to see that they're losing the electorate. They either move a little bit toward the middle and become more accommodating. And I think it was not a surprise that Dan Patrick told the uh, teacher retirement system, don't raise those premiums on those retired teachers' health insurance. Because um, the retired teachers are awake. And they're, to quote Rock at a meeting one time, he said, our members are here. They are. And they're making that voice heard. Good on us. Let's do more of that. But there's another theory, and that is that they realize, hey, we're not going to be in control here forever. Our power is waning. We got to do, like, and I'm not saying they're Nazis, but we got to do like what the Germans did when they left Paris. Load up all the art, get all the gold, put the wine on the planes, and let's fly back to Germany. Let's take as much loot as we can now. And that loot is our pension. That loop is, like, let's double down on charter schools, testing, and privatization. Let's run our agenda while we still can, up their noses, and then let them spend the next 10 years trying to unwind this. That's what I'm afraid of. And so what I told the Guardian reporter is, if that's the Dan Patrick playbook, if we're going to get vouchers, charters, bathrooms, no more money for public schools and private pensions, then I invite you to be with me on the Monday of spring break, which I believe is March 6th. Our goal is 10,000 people at the state campus. Right. So I and I have talked about this yet, and I'm hoping that that is a joint effort with Texas for Public Ed, Texas AFT, Texas Retired Teachers Association, ATPE, TCTA, Texas State Teachers, let's show up in numbers like we have not before 
But we're not waiting till March. We're going to be dogging that. We're going to be following legislation. We're going to be feeding folks the same kind of good information that we have about candidates. We're going to be talking about legislation. But come March, come April, when it's, you know, fish or cut bait time in the Capitol, if they haven't done what they need to do for our kids, then I hope that our people come to the Capitol and that they stay at the Capitol and that they don't leave the Capitol until the legislature does what the people demand that it do, and that is do right by our kids and do right by our schools. So I really appreciate you all. I appreciate the organizers of this event. Thank you uh, for rallying the people of Canton, Texas, and surrounding areas. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, Donald. Guy Miller is our next speaker.